Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel today. I would like to show you what's in my newest pencil case and how what's my setup for end of the year because it evaluated it evolved evolved evaluated it evolved a lot through the year and I want to show you everything what's inside my Olive Traveler's notebook um regular size because uh, I have a passport, but it will be a different video. Uh, so first, first we will go with the pencil case. Uh, this pencil case is from AliExpress. It was dollar uh, fifty, I think, but it expands in here, so it fits a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, so I'm going to show you. It's super full. It's super full. Uh, but uh, I cannot minimalize that like I tried okay I tried but in the end I'm using everything so this is uh, really really hard for me to minimalize the amount of stuff that's here so let's open it it has two zipper closures and openings here so it lays like this and as you can see it's super full so let's start with this small pocket here a mesh pocket i have my floral ruler and i have tiny tweezers for my stickers this is a game changer if you're using a lot of stickers especially smaller stickers or more delicate stickers this is a game changer uh, i ordered on temu probably uh, one uh, more because this one is not that sharp anymore and it's really important if you want to peel off the stickers uh, so i ordered a new one but this is a game changer So I have a lot of fountain pens and a lot of markers in here, but it makes sense in the end, I promise. So <laughs> I have these um, Kuretake clean color dots. I love them. I use them as a space filler. Uh, you will see in my journal how it looks like, but I have a smoky set. I have a smoky set and I have a regular collection and I love them like you should not love markers that make dots so much but these are a total essential for me I have a couple of more shades but I need to check where uh, so yeah I have these and these are always with me next thing is a revelation for me because i didn't really know uh, that it's a thing i'm using a uh, pilot friction uh, this is a erasable pen to update my calendars um, because i don't really like to cross stuff and it looks very messy and un not aesthetic and i really would like my uh, calendars to look neat basically neat because my handwriting is not perfect so i use erasable pens and I was using uh, zebra mind liners for highlighting and color coding, but I found out about these. These are also pilot friction, but highlighters, and I found them in pretty pastel colors, so they are not very like in your face. Um, I'm using them to color code everything and if anything like falls out of my uh, planner I can just erase it and don't leave like a incorrect color coding that day it's perfect like if you've never heard of them just go and have a look because these are also a game changer for me i have them always with me i wanted to get some more colors but the other ones are really like fluorescent and stuff so these are the prettiest so as i mentioned i have a pilot friction 0.7 uh, clicker edition I also have a regular one not a clicker 
I don't know where because I don't use it. Um, my biggest um, beef with this pen is that it's not really dark black. It smudges like it's gray and uneven and it pisses me off. That's why I'm like <laughs> erasing and correcting things all the time with it so it looks more neat and elegant. Uh, but you can erase that so that's mainly the point I'm having that. Lamy Safari in color Terra Red. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Love me so far. Oh, I know why. Because I lost a cup. I lost. We lost a cup, guys. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. So, Lamy Safari in color Terra Red. This was my green, green. This was my dream pen. It's in size F, unfortunately, because this is the only one I found online. It was a limited edition a couple of years ago, and I really missed it because there was only a beautiful dark green together with it, and I also missed it. But I found it on Amazon. On Amazon, yeah, I found it on Amazon, and I was super happy that it came. Uh, unfortunately, it's in size F, but I can live with that. Uh, the most important thing is that I have it, and I was super excited when it arrived. I have a black ink inside, just so you know. Zebra Sarasa uh, gel pens are one of my favorites. These are with clips. These are very cool. I have a lot of them. Like I have a whole vintage set, but I only carry with me this brown um, ochre one. I really like it uh, to sometimes write with it. Uh, I don't color code with it. Sometimes I just do some decorations and stuff. This is an interesting pen. This is a fountain pen, but this is a clickable fountain pen. It's from AliExpress and it's not the best, but I wanted to check it if it's uh, just in, in general for me because there's a pilot. Oh my God, how it's called. I can't remember, but there is a, a pilot pen that's clickable and I have like, I want it so bad. It's not available anywhere in Poland and it's very expensive anyways so i decided to check with the cheaper one it's okay but <clears throat> sorry it's okay but it's nothing really fancy my caveco sports pens of choice i have uh, more of them but these are the ones i'm uh, carrying with me currently uh, so let's go with it this is a smooth sage with amber yellow ink in it in size b and i always i've always what happened oh okay never mind <laughs> i um i've always uh liked like thicker pens but just through caveco i learned how much i love b nibs it's not very easy to get but when i can uh, now i take b nibs uh, so this is a b nib amber yellow uh color by Airbell. this one in mocha i don't know if it's called mocha but this one is me uh, this one was f size but i swapped nibs and now it's m sized uh, this one i got like i switched with my friend i got her like kaveko perkeo she gave me this one uh, we just swapped switched <laughs> we just swapped uh, pens and i really like it i have like a autumnal orangey brownish like um, red leaves during autumn it's a very beautiful ink Caveco Sports Pearl. Um, this one is also in medium size and I have a very beautiful lavender ink in it. It really looks like these tweezers, the color of it. 
And uh, the last is the newest. If uh, we're talking about Caveco, this one is Caveco Teal in size B. And I have a beautiful, beautiful brown ink inside. Very dark brown, almost black. This one is Caveco Lilliput in green. It's super tiny, super portable, but it's also a B nib, which I'm very happy with. And I have like a maroon ink inside. It's super tiny, but it gets bigger if you screw the cap in here. It's bigger, but still it's very, very tiny. It's comfortable enough to use, but it's not like the most favorite thing if you uh, really appreciate comfort of writing. It's really portable because I usually um, put them in my pen loops because it's very tiny and it fits in it. It's very tiny and it fits in it. Uh, all the other pens I put with the cap in here with the clip. So I can carry different ones, of course. Now it's my Caveco Perkeo um, limited edition a cooperation with Moleskin. Uh, I love Moleskin sketchbooks. Moleskin notebooks are absolute shit. However, they are very pretty. Of course, they are very pretty and that's wonderful if you like them. But in terms of paper, you barely can use a fountain pen. If you don't care about ghosting or bleeding, that's fine. But I do. I hate when it's ghosting and bleeding. Like Ghosting like in Hobonichi is tolerable because this is a very, very thin Tomo River paper. But in general, I hate it. I hate it. I like my pages to feel neat. Like this is this is my like biggest dream to have a neat and clean uh, notebooks. It never works out because of my handwriting, but hey. So these were available in three colors, I think. Navy blue, red and black. I picked up black. You can also pick up a uh, regular roller 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 ball pens <laughs> and the last but not least is my newest addition to the collection this is absolutely my dream pen this is Twisby Echo and I really wanted to have it in color saffron but I couldn't get a B nib and what I thought is if I want to spend the money on this Twisby I need it in B nib, B -nib. and this was a perfect choice uh, I have the same amber yellow um, uh, ink than here with in this Caveco. I just got it in a bottle um, because this is a converter pen and it's a B nib and it's super smooth, super comfortable to work with. It's a little bit heavier, but never mind. I really like it. Like I like heavier pens because you feel you feel how you write like this is this is great i love the feeling so i've always wanted a twisby but it was really Im almost impossible to get it in poland and now my favorite shop imports them so i'm so happy all right that's everything what was in my um pencil case and that's a lot so let me just pack it back and we will take care of my traveler's notebook. Okay, so this baby. So this baby is traveler's notebook Olive, uh, the new newer collection, 2023 collection. I'm super, wait, wait a second, because I see the, uh, we can do nothing with this light. So I'm very, very sorry. I have a 2024, no, 2020, yeah, 2024 uh, sticker in here. I have three charms. I have uh, Traveler's Japan, um, Traveler's Factory Japan uh, charm. I have a Moon and Star 
um, my sun and stars and moon of my life. I have this charm. This one is from AliExpress and this is a traveler's notebook charm. And this is not the original one. I got it also on AliExpress, but it looks exactly like the original one. So I have a mustard yellow band. Uh, it came in 2023 repair kit. I really love the color. It's beautiful. The colors in the newer um, repair kit are really beautiful. So highly recommend if you uh, if you're interested. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. A couple of times I've seen people who were wear charms in here, and I ordered this one as a charm to my phone. But I just felt the need to put it in here, so I have a little kitten in here. <laughs> so it's waving here. All right, so let's start with my pockets. I have Animal Crossing stickers in here because Animal Crossing is my the sense of my existence. I'm not playing right now and I missed Halloween and I'm super pissed, but I didn't uh, collect all the recipes for autumnal and mushroom items, which made me even more sad. So the thing I'm focusing now is to gather uh, stuff for Christmas time. I need to because other, uh, otherwise I'm going to like go crazy. So my villagers already forgot who I am but I have a sticker in here because I always remember about them. And here I have a Project Nana, my favorite coffee place a sticker and the Brewster sticker. Brewster is a barista in Animal Crossing so these two match perfectly. I have this beautiful, beautiful blue, dirty blue, like ro it's like royal blue, I think. I have this pocket, the Sisa dupe. This one is from AliExpress as well. But if you have money, you can get the same one uh, from Traveler's Company, uh, and probably it's a better quality. However, I don't complain. It's absolutely fine for me. I have no problem with it. It's a little bit stiff, but when I got an original one for my passport size uh, from Limited Collection a couple of years ago, it was also very, very stiff at the beginning. So I don't even care. So what I have here, here I have my stickers I'm using in my calendar and planner. Um, what are those? Like cats, quotes, and coffee stickers so i just have them to quickly uh, decorate my calendar if i feel like it i use them very often that's why i keep them here uh, here is the first part of my collection of kita washi tapes these are these tiny packets with different designs of washi tape tiny pieces of washi tape. These are very, very nice, but pretty expensive. But last year I was really crazy because I had adult money and I bought a really huge amount of them. You will see them in a moment. But I used to give them to my uh, Happy Mail pen pals and I was using it so much that lots of them are nearly gone. Um, I have a folder here from 2024 collection, but we will take care of it in a minute. Here is the second part of my collection. I have these and these, like six of them? Yeah, I have six of them. Well, okay. <laughs> so I have six of them. I have here a card, um, card slot uh, insert. From this side is a card holder and from this side... Oh, I have more of them, of course. Oh, I forgot about this. This is a Traveler's Company clip and I would never buy it if I could. I got it as a gift because it's very expensive, but I love it and I use it every day. Um, okay, so here's the second part of um card slots insert and here in the back i sticked um transparent sticky notes uh, i've never used them yet 
but I have a plan to use them. Anytime I need something uh, in a sticky note, I have it sticked here uh, with just a regular double-sided tape. So if I really want to, I can take it out, but I have it here. So um, this baby. This baby is a Wanderings notebook. It's not an original. Uh, it's not an original insert, but I love it so much. I love it so much. It has rounded edges, yellow aged uh, paper, and it's really thick. And the way you write in it, it's so pretty. This is my private, personal, and commonplace notebook. I um, organize it with color dots. It's a popular way of color coding I've seen online um, with a few of uh, creators I really watch. So I have color coded these uh, as my private ones, these green as a common placing. So yeah, I like how neat it looks. This is my goal. <laughs> this is my goal. I want everything to look like this. Um, and this is the latest one, but this is a private entry. Um, I love this paper. It feels like an old, old notebook of my mom's. And this is why I love uh, this insert. I was inspired to get this one uh, by a girl whose channel name is Untitled paintings or untitled paintings on or untitled pages um, something like this um, but I saw it and I knew I have to I have to get it I got it on Amazon um, it was like almost the same price with of course with delivery um, with the delivery price it was almost the same if I buy three uh, original inserts so it was not cheaper but it's much better i like it much more than the original ones but don't tell anyone uh, all right so here here i have my monthly calendar and as you can see i forgot about tabs because i was traveling uh, home uh, quite a lot and i forgot these and i never uh, came back to putting them so I have three uh, this one is Midori ruler with these tiny stencils it's very very thin very very gentle so I keep it on my cover uh, if I need a ruler I can only I can always use this even I have even though I have a ruler in here it's great it was uh, it was one of my very impulsive purchases, but I really love it. So this is my this is my monthly insert, and as you can see, I I hate crossing the I hate it. This is the this is uh, July, and you can see how my uh, how my monthly looks now, like it's much neater and the color coding is clear nothing is like crossed out everything looks good i'm much more much happier and here is 2024 pencil ca pencil case pencil board i like it i use them every time and every day because i keep them as a pencil board so <laughs> It's great. I buy them to collect them as almost everyone who's uh, into traveler's notebooks. Uh, but in the same time, I'm also using them. So yeah, I have two uh, in this notebook. I have the 2024 and I have 2023 with coffee. That was my favorite theme, but I'm still waiting for a bookstore or a library, but we will see. Uh, this is a vertical weekly. I fell in love in Vertical Weekly a couple of, like last year, last December or November. And ever since, I'm so in love with that. I had a two month break for Hobonichi Weeks, but I always come back. Like, like a cheating husband, I always come back. Um, so I'm back 
with Traveler's Notebook and I'm going to start a new uh, insert here, a new insert, a new week here. All right, so the last, um, the last uh, insert is uh, sticker release paper from B-Sides and Rarities. This year Traveler's Company introduced them as a regular collection, but I have this one from Limited Edition when they, uh, when they released it for the first time. And I have, I need to update it because I don't really have a lot of stickers here and there's a lot of stickers missing. Hi, Oscar. Uh, so I need to fill it in. I just cannot like force myself to do it. I need to sit down one day and just do it. Um, yeah, this is my, uh, this is the last um, insert and here is the pocket. I have something in this pocket, right? I, I know. Oh yeah, I have more Project Nano stickers. So uh, they created their stickers recently and I took a couple of them. So yeah, and also, I forgot, I have a Leuchtturm 1917 pen loop in all of my Traveler's Notebooks. I have a huge collection of Traveler's Notebooks, but I have these loops everywhere. Um, the owner of Escribo like, uh, gave me this tip uh, to use these instead of Traveler's Company, that they don't destroy the cover. Um, like the original ones and I started using them in every notebook. Okay guys, so this is it. This was a long video. Thank you so, so much. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and see you in another one. Bye.